If you are in FPV long enough, you will eventually find yourself asking the question, does it matter whether I mount my flight controller at the center of gravity of the quadcopter? That is the question we're gonna to tackle today. And we're gonna find out that the answer is no, but also sometimes yes, but usually no. I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're gonna learn something today. Before we get to the answer to the question, or I should say the answers to the question, since the answer is both yes and no, before we get to the answer, why are people even asking the question? And some people are just curious, and other people are looking at frames that mount the flight controller in the back. Two frames that come to mind could be the Catalyst Machine Works Bang God, or another one that comes to mind is the Newbie Drone Vivid, which can put the air unit in the center and the flight controller in the back. And some people argue that this is gonna make your quad fly wrong. Here's why the answer to that question is no. You, it doesn't matter if you put your flight controller in the back. When a quadcopter rotates, or when any object rotates, it rotates about its center of mass. And so some people say that having the gyro located directly at the center of mass means that the gyro gets accurate readings. And if the gyro is located off the center of mass, the readings will be different. The reason that's wrong is I had to grab a flexible object, so I just grabbed this HDMI cable that I had to take with me when I travel. The reason that's wrong is that if you have a rigid object, like let's take this, forget about the rest of this wire, let's take this part of the wire. If you have a rigid object, then any part of the object will always rotate at the same rotational rate. So let's imagine that we're gonna rotate this at one degree per second. That means in, or three, 360 degrees per second. That means in one second, it will make one full rotation. And every part of it will make one full rotation, right? This part rotated 360 degrees in one second. This part, every part of it is rotating at the exact same speed and will complete one rotation at the exact same time. That doesn't mean they're moving at the same speed. Let's not, let's not get confused here. Obviously, when you have a rotating object, the outer part is moving faster. It has a faster velocity, right? That's why like a penny placed on the outside of a record player will fly off, but a penny placed at, placed at the center of a record player, you kids know what a record player is, right? A penny placed at the center of a record player, it has zero velocity, but its rotational rate is the same. And that's what we have to distinguish between velocity and rotational rate. So what would happen if the rotational rate of some part of this cord was different than the rotational rate of some other part of this cord? Well, let's say we're gonna hold the rotational rate of this part of the cord at zero degrees per second. It is not gonna rotate at all. And we're gonna take this part of the cord and we're gonna rotate it at some non-zero rotational rate. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start this end rotating and this end is gonna stay the same. And can you see that the effect will be that we will curl it up? Okay, so anytime you have a rigid body, the rotational rate of every part of the rigid body is the same. Otherwise, the body would flex or fold, right? And since quadcopters don't fold or flex, we know that, that the rotational rate is the same at every part of the quadcopter. And in that respect, it doesn't matter where you mount the flight controller. If we mount the flight controller in the back of the quad, what's gonna happen when it does a front flip? It will rotate 360 degrees in one second or whatever the rotational rate was. You mount it at the front of the quad. Well, the front of the quad also rotated 360 degrees in one second or whatever the rotational rate was. No matter where you mount it, that is gonna be true. So. Where you mount the flight controller doesn't affect how the gyro performs, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't affect how the quadcopter flies. Different parts of the quadcopter can be more or less subject to vibration. For example, if we were to mount the flight controller all the way out at the end of an arm, at the end of the arm, you're gonna have a lot more vibration just because it's this long, unsupported structure and there's gonna be high frequency vibrations there, whereas mounting it toward the center, you're gonna have less vibrations. There are 
resonant frequencies. Every, every physical object has resonant frequencies, and the frame is also going to have resonant frequencies. And those frequencies will form standing waves within the structure of the frame. And there are places on this frame where we could mount a, a flight controller where the gyro would see a lot more vibration peaks and other places we could mount it where the flight controller would see a lot less vibration or, gy or vibrational noise. So placing the flight controller in one location or another could change how much filtering you need in order to make the quadcopter fly good. But as far as just basic flight characteristics, it's gonna be the same no matter where you mount the flight controller. As long as you're flying in acro mode. Because in acro mode, the flight controller is basing its performance exclusively on the rotational rate and it is only looking at the gyro. But if we start flying in auto level mode, like angle mode, then the accelerometer comes into play and that is where the yes it does matter comes in. Let's think about this quadcopter and think about if we did a yaw movement to rotate the quadcopter around the yaw axis. Well, if, if it's going to rotate directly around the CG, you can see that the CG, the center of the quad, experiences no net acceleration. It spins around itself, but just like that penny at the center of the record player, it spins around itself, but it doesn't actually experience any acceleration. Think about this arm way out here at the end. When the quadcopter roller, uh, ro ro rotates, think about what acceleration this motor undergoes. It is accelerating backwards, and now it's accelerating to the right, and now it's accelerating upwards, and now it's accelerating to the, to the left, to your left. So different parts of the quadcopter experience different acceleration when the quadcopter rotates, but they do not experience different rotation. So the accelerometer will read different values depending on where it's, whether it's mounted at the CG or whether it's mounted away from the CG, but the gyro will not. What effect does this have on flying? Well, let's say we took the uh, flight controller and we mounted it way in the rear of the quadcopter, and let's say we are in auto level mode. When we yaw the quadcopter, let's say we yaw to the right. When we yaw to the right, if the flight controller is mounted in the back, the flight controller will experience a, to my left, to your right acceleration, and as it rotates, it will experience a forward acceleration. The accelerometer will believe that the quadcopter is drifting to the left and forward, and it will cause the quadcopter to roll to the right and pitch back. The net effect is that if you have a flat quadcopter, it's, it's hovering flat, and you yaw to the right, the quadcopter will not just yaw to the right, but also pitch back and roll to the right. Now, that effect is so small on these, that, the difference is so small. On these little five inch mini quads, even on bigger ones like six or seven inch ones. And if you think about it, how far off from the CG can you possibly be? So don't overthink this. Don't overthink this. If your quadcopter is flying in acro mode, it really doesn't matter. Placing the flight controller anywhere within the body of the frame is probably gonna be fine. As long as you don't get super creative and place the flight controller somewhere where there's a ton of vibration. Like if you were to take like a cantilevered plate with an unsupported end and mount the flight controller on it, it'd be a ton of vibration and that would be bad. As long as you securely mount the flight controller, you're probably, it probably doesn't matter where you put it. And if you're gonna fly in auto level mode, then it does matter a tiny bit whether the flight controller is mounted at the CG. But as long as it's like close to the CG, you're probably not gonna notice that slight coupling of yaw to roll or whatever. That's the answer to the question. Does it matter whether you mount your flight controller at the CG? For the most part, no. Very occasionally, sort of, yes, but mostly no. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. What are you doing in here? The least you could do is subscribe or join my Patreon or like just here's another video I picked out for you. Jeez.